Hi everyone. Given that we've had to close our studios at Precision Pilates Windsor and Parkdale, we thought it'd be nice to pop a couple of videos on for you with some short workouts that you can follow along with at home. So my challenge now is to get rid of Lexi, ask her to sit over the side. She may join me at times and we're going to start to take you through just a very gentle, nice workout that you can do. It'll be taking sort of 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to start on the mat. We're lying down on her side and I'm going to ask Lexi to go away. Good girl. We're going to take, no, 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 away. Take our hands behind our head and we're going to stack our legs so that they're at tabletop position. So knees in line with your hips. Elbows are coming in. Try and line yourself up along um, the back of the mat if you need to. We're going to take an inhale breath and lift our elbow to the roof. And as we exhale, we're going to rotate that spine around. You're going to take a big inhale there for me. And as you breathe out, you're going to just bring your body back. So again, we inhale to lift to the roof. We exhale to rotate around. We're inhaling to hold that position. And we're exhaling to come back. I want you to try to think about keeping your legs stacked as you do this. Two more, inhale to the roof. Exhale, take the body around. Inhale to hold. And exhale, last one. One more time, we go inhale up, exhale, rotating around, inhale to hold here, and then exhaling to roll all the way back. You're going to reach your top arm forward on a diagonal line now. You're going to reach your top leg back and flex your foot. Feel like you're pressing through your heel, at the same time you're reaching through your fingertips. And you should feel a nice stretch down the side of your hip. So we're going to take a breath in here and on the breath out, reach those two points as far away from one another as you can. Two more. Breath in for me. Breath out, reach those two points. Last one. Breath in. Breath out, you're reaching away. And now just fold those back in. And I'm going to swing myself up the other end so that you don't have to look at my butt when I repeat. So we're going to start again, we're stacking our legs, knees are on top, hips are in line with knees, and we inhale and lift the arm to the roof, and you're going to exhale and rotate around. Hold that position as you breathe in, and breathe out and come back home. And again, inhale to lift, exhale, round we go, holding there as you breathe in, and breathing out to come back. You've got two to go. Inhale, elbow goes to the roof. Exhale, you're going around. We're holding. And we're breathing out to come back. Lucky last. Inhale, elbow to the roof. Exhale, around. Inhale, maintain. And exhale, coming all the way back. Top arms reaching forward on the diagonal. Top leg reaches back on the same diagonal. Flex your foot. Take a big inhale. And on the exhale, reach those two points away. Feel like you're pressing through your heel. You should feel your hamstrings and your glutes start to activate. Inhale for me. Exhale, press those two points away. And one last time. Inhale. And exhale and reach. Well done, we fold the leg back in. We're going to come onto our back now. Set your two feet in line with your hip bones. So that's in the centre of our hip socket and then we're lying ourselves down onto our back. Hands can come down flat if you feel too tight in the pec still. Feel free to turn your palms up but I want you to feel as open as you can in the chest. We're going to take a breath in and as we breathe out I want you to gently lift your pelvic floor and draw your abdominals in. I don't want you to change your spine at all. So again, we breathe into the ribs as much as we could. And as we breathe out, lift the pelvic floor muscles internally and draw the abdominals in. The bones are staying still. We've got one more time. Into the ribs. Breath out. Lift the pelvic floor, draw the tongue in. 
We're going to start to add a gentle tilt of the pelvis now. So you're going to breathe in for me. You're going to breathe out. And using the deepening of the stomach, just start to tilt your spine towards the mat. And then as you inhale, return it back to that neutral position. Exhale, pelvic floor lifts, tummy draws in and you tilt that spine towards the mat. And as you inhale, you return it back. One last time, deepen the tummy. If you like all the work is in the abdominals that you're not pushing through your feet. And then inhale and return. On the next one, we're going to start a pelvic curl. Initiate the same way. So use the breath out to begin that tilting process. Start to engage your glutes once your uh, tailbone is off the mat. And then you feel like you're peeling one vertebra of your spine up at a time. I don't want you to push up into your shoulders and expand your chest that way. Try and stay like you're in a little hammock. Take an inhale at the top. And then as you exhale, imagine you're putting each vertebra down onto the mat one bone at a time until you feel yourself back in that neutral position. Hold there, take your inhale. Exhale, deepen your tummy, scoop your abdominals, starting to peel up. You're pressing into your big toes now. Think about your pubic bone always being your highest point. Keep pressing into the feet, find the back of those hips. Take an inhale and then exhale and again roll back down. Good, we're going to pick up the tempo a little bit more. Inhaling here, four counts, we're rolling. Four, three, two, and one. And inhaling and rolling down. Four, three, two, and one. A couple more. Scooping the belly, tilting the spine, pressing into those big toes as we roll all the way up, inhaling at the top, and then rolling it back down. Got one to go. We inhale at the bottom. We exhale, we scoop our abdominals. Press into the feet now, particularly those big toes so the knees stay tracking in line with the hips. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, and roll all the way back down. Good. Once you're down, take your arms out to the side. Mine are going to disappear out of screen potentially. Feet and knees glued together. Imagine the inside edge of your feet are glued. So as I start to move my knees, the outside edge of my foot is going to pick up. So I'm going to inhale. I'm going to keep my knees together, my hips stacked. And I'm going to allow the weight of my legs to pick up and give my spine a gentle stretch. And then I'm going to breathe out and draw it back in. So I'm pulling back through my waist, my hips, my knees, and eventually my feet. So inhaling across the knees first. They pick up the hip, the waist, the ribs. Inhale to hold. Exhale, reverse. Pull back through the ribs, the waist, the hips, and the feet. One more in each direction. And exhale and pull it back home. And again, inhaling across. And exhaling and pulling it back home. Good. Once we're there, I want you to slide both legs out until they're straight. Interlace your fingers, take your hands behind your head. I feel like you may create a hammock for your head. I like to put my thumbs just into the base of my neck and then I can relax my head back in here. You're going to take an inhale breath, and on the exhale, lift your pelvic floor, draw your stomach muscles in, and start to come up. Feel like your head is completely hammocked in your hands, so that if you were to let go, you would feel like your head would almost release back a little bit. Your eye line, once you're up, should be looking straight ahead. You shouldn't have outward force in your stomach, so really feel like you're drawing your abdominal muscles in and then roll it back down for me. So inhaling here, exhaling, 
and lift the pelvic floor, draw the stomach muscles towards the spine as you come up. We're going to inhale and hold. Now we're going to exhale and deepen a little bit more. And then we're going to inhale and roll back home. So we're exhaling to come up. We're inhaling to stay. We're exhaling to deepen it. And we're inhaling to go back. Be very mindful about what's happening with your abdominal wall. If you're feeling outward force, reduce your range. You don't want to be pushing your stomach out. You need to be drawing the tummy towards the spine. And then return it back down. One last time. Exhale. Pull the tummy in. Inhale, maintain. Exhale. Deepen it. And then return it back. Good. We're going to slide one leg in. We're going to slide the other leg in. Bring your hands down by your sides. And you're going to float one leg to tabletop. And then place it back down. Imagine you're moving your thigh bone rather than your foot. Now imagine that glass of wine or beer or coffee or whatever you fancy is sitting on your belly. And as you move that leg, don't spill it. Can you think about the leg that's left on the mat? So even though I'm lifting my left, I'm pressing my hip down on the right hand side. And now I'm pressing my left down and back down. One last time. And then back down. Good. We're going to roll onto your side. Again, align yourself. If you've got a mat or you're using a mat along the back of the mat, you can take your hand behind your head like me, or you could use a pillow or a half roll or something for your head. Bend two legs. The feet are in line with the back of the mat again, so they're in line with your bottom. So you've got a straight line from your head, through your spine, down to your feet. Rather than be collapsed on the mat, feel like you draw your abdominals to your spine, and we've got a little bit of space in that underneath waist. You're going to squeeze your hip muscles together and lift that knee, only as far as you don't move your pelvis. And then roll it back down. So we squeeze the hip, we feel the knee lift up, and we go down. Feel a little contraction in the bottom, lift the knee, and back down. All the time we're keeping everything else, zip it up. Lift it up, and back down. And one last time, lifting it up, and back down. Now we're going to hover both ankles off the ground and continue. Squeeze the hip, lift the knee, and we're down. Squeeze the hip, lift the knee, and we're down. Squeezing the hip to lift the knee, and back down. Lucky last, squeeze the hip and lift the knee, and back down. We add on now. We squeeze the hip and lift the knee, gentle pull into the tummy. Hip to knee doesn't move. You're going to extend your foot forward. You're going to bring your foot back and lower your knee down. Again, draw the abdominals in, squeeze the knee, squeeze the hip, 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 extend the foot, bring the foot back and lower it down. And again, feel the work in the back of that hip socket, extending the foot, bringing it home. How still can you be through here? Lucky last, extend the knee up on the last one. Bringing it home and lowering the knee down. Good. I want you to bring your knees in line with your hips now. So we're back to that tabletop position. We've got a straight line through our hip. Again, find the abdominals. Imagine that you're suctioning your thigh bone all the way back so that you're trying to push into the back of your hip. And then you're going to use those muscles right at the back of your hip and squeeze them and try and lift the knee and the foot at exactly the same time while drawing your tummy in tight. And then lower it back down. Squeeze the hip, push backwards. And back down. So again, this isn't moving. Lift from the back of that butt. They should be starting to wake up now. Starting to feel a little gentle burn. Press backwards. Remember to keep all of this still. Last one. Lift the leg. You're going to hold it. Imagine you've got a, a pencil sorry, on your knee. And you're going to start to draw some circles for me. We've got six. That's four, five. And last one. Reverse. How still can your body be as you do that? That's it, last three, and two, and one, 
and relax. Good. Let's swap sides. So we're lining ourselves up. We've got our feet in line with our bottom, shoulders in line with your hips. Draw your tummy back gently. Feel like there's a little lift or a reach, if you like, of that hip, so that our abdominals and our waist engage. Squeezing the hip, we lift the knee up and we lower it back down. We squeeze on the exhale and lift and we return. We squeeze on the exhale and lift and return. I believe Lexi's coming to join us. No, she's gone away. Squeeze and lift and down. One more time. Feel the squeeze of your hip first and down. Good. Ankles are hovering up. Tummy's still drawing in. Watch the pelvis doesn't rock forward or backwards. It just stays stacked. We squeeze the hip and lift and return. Feel the hip work first and then move the leg and down. Every time you do it, gentle drawing of the abdominals and return. And again, gentle drawing and return. Last one like that, gentle squeeze and return. We're adding the extension, you're squeezing. Thigh bone doesn't move. Bring the foot back, the knee goes down. Lift the knee, squeeze and extend. Bring the foot back and down. And we've got three left and extend. Bring it home, keep fighting the stability through the waist. Again, the pressure is inwards, not outwards. Always feel like you're drawing into your spine. Very last one, I think I might have lost count then. And extend and back and down. Well done. You bring the knees forward. Line up the knees with the hips. The feet swing forward a little. And again, don't collapse. Find a little bit of lift. Draw your, th uh, your thigh bone back into your hip. So imagine you're suctioning it back. You're asking these muscles at the back to activate, to lift the foot and the knee at exactly the same time. And then back down. And again, squeeze backwards and lift. Put your hand there if that helps you to find that. Feel like you drive the hip bone back, find the abdominal connection. Two more, press it back and down. Last one, push it and hold it. Circle, six, five, tummy on, four, three, two, reverse, one, two, everything still, three, four, five, and six, and rest. Well done. Come up onto all fours for me. We're going to finish today's little mini workout in a quadruped position. If you have trouble with your wrist, feel free to go onto this. If you're on the hands, spread your fingers. Don't collapse. I want you to feel like you're lifting up out of those shoulders. And imagine your butt bones, I call them your bum feet. If you're a regular client, you'll be familiar with that expression but they're pointing backwards. So toe is lifting out of the shoulders and my stomach is drawing in. You're just going to start to rock forward. How far forward can you go? Keeping that alignment and then how far back? Still keeping your bum cheek spread, no tucking in the backside and then returning back. So as you go forward, try not to collapse and then coming to the centre and then pressing it back and then return. One more time, reach it forward, tummy's on and centre and reach it back and come to the centre. Well done. And then sit back down for me, just stretch your arms forward. Big stretch, just take a big breath in. You can open your knees if that's more comfortable for you on your hips. And then just sit yourself up. So that was the first, and oh no, she's not coming. That was the first of our little mini series that we'll be popping on. So I'm going to try over the next few weeks to pop something up every day or every couple of days. They'll be short. We've done a little bit of ab work, a little bit of glute work, and I'll start to build on those. If anyone has any questions or any requests of what you'd like to do, shoot me a message or pop a message onto the site and we'll do our best to help you out. Have a great day everyone, keep moving and stay safe.